Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have a collaboration with Victoria over at Victoria's Romance Reads. We're going to be talking about romance books that have a forbidden aspect to them. This is a collaboration with my lovely friend Victoria. I love her so much. We talk almost basically every single day. She's become a very good friend of mine. So please go check out Victoria. I love her. Um, her channel is going to be linked down below as well as her forbidden romance video. So I have 10 recommendations for you when it comes to forbidden romances. So let's get started. The first one I have is actually like a post-apocalyptic romance. This is Dustwalker by Tiffany Roberts. It's basically about a human woman during apocalyptic time. Basically, cyborgs have kind of taken over the world and have decimated the earth, <laughs> like basically blown it up, except for a few survivors or else our human woman not, would not be here. <laughs> so there are a few human survivors and then our hero in here is actually one of these cyborg people. And it is very forbidden and very frowned upon to get with a cyborg if you're a human. Like, no, no, people are gonna hate you because guess what? Cyborgs like took over the world. So humans are not gonna like you if you get with one. So Laura in here is the heroine. She is missing her sister. She cannot find her sister anywhere. She needs help essentially. So um, what's his name? Ronan. Ronan ends up finding Laura one day. Um, he ends up like kind of witnessing her dancing alone. She thinks she's alone in this barn. To get out her frustration, she dances basically. It's very beautiful. Ronan becomes entranced and he's a cyborg, cybernetic creature, person, whatever. Um, and he is, dancing is very foreign to him. He's like, what is this? This is beautiful. I want this woman to just dance for me for the rest of my life. Um, and so he strikes up a deal with Laura. Basically he will help her find her sister in exchange she will dance for him. That's only a small chunk of the book. It goes way deeper into that, but the two of them kind of have to hide the fact that they're even helping each other from outside people because both the cyborgs and the humans would be very upset if they were to find them together. So I really loved this. This is a great post-apocalyptic romance. Like if you've never read one, this one is definitely one you should pick up to try out the genre. Next is an obvious one. You have Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. This is a very forbidden romance because it's about the heroine getting with her ex's dad or her boyfriend's dad. So Jordan in here, she is dating this guy who's kind of poopy, okay? He's not the best boyfriend ever. They get in a bind and they can't really pay rent at the apartment that they're staying in. So his father, Pike, is like, okay, how about you and Jordan just come stay with me? And so that's what they do. They go move in with his dad. Pike had him quite young, um, him and his mother were quite young when his son was born. Anyway, when she meets him, she realizes that she, she's met him before. She had like a little little instance with this man at a movie theater one time. Felt a spark, but never did anything because she has a boyfriend, you know? Um, and so, they're both very attracted to each other, um, but the boyfriend is kind of there and there's no cheating in here, just by the way. So take with that what you will, but this one is quite forbidden for both of them. Another favorite is Welcome to the Dark Side by Jenna Darling. This one is especially forbidden, I think probably because of the age gap and the circumstances these two are in for how they met, you know? So this is about Zeus and Lou. So when Lou was, I think around seven, um, her and her family uh, were going into church and then a shootout started happening in front of the um, church and uh, Zeus's motorcycle club was a part of it. And Zeus ended up taking a bullet basically for, for Lou, saving this little girl. And both Lou and him have to go to the hospital after this whole ordeal. And she thinks of Zeus basically as her savior. Um, and she ends up writing letters to him in prison. He has to go to prison because of, he was a participant in this shootout, even though he saved this girl's life. He has to go to prison. It's years later and Zeus is finally out of jail. I think Lou is like 17. The age of consent in Canada, I believe is 17 and this takes place in Canada. Lou is going to try her hardest to win Zeus. This is very forbidden because number one, the, I think it's like 19 year age gap between the two. Um, number two, because she knew him when she was a child. And then I would say three, because his children are the same age as her. So it's like, triply forbidden 
there's so many different forbidden aspects in here but like those are the main three i could think of at the moment so if you want a good forbidden one i feel like welcome to the dark side is a great one to pick up big boss by cassie mint is next this is a very short novella the first book in her big boy series and i loved this one our heroine has nowhere to stay during winter break when she's in college and so her roommate ends up inviting her over to her house to spend christmas with her and her dad but then when she's staying with them she ends up falling for her um best friend's dad i think she's always had a little bit of a crush on him and her best friend like pokes fun at her and like knows that she thinks that her dad's like attractive or whatever but in actuality her best friend doesn't know that she is actually in love with her dad and she just has never said anything because that is her friend's dad but then the two of them have a little bit of alone time together in this house because her friend is off doing whatever she's doing and so the two of them are alone in the house sometimes together and they get to know each other and spend time together and they end up falling in love it is so sweet it's one of my favorite novellas by cassie mint it's so good there's the night by katie robert is obviously forbidden because you have a prince and his bodyguard and a woman so like i feel like thruple situations or even polyamorous situations are very forbidden in the limelight you know if you're a famous person you don't really i don't know of anybody that's famous or a celebrity that has a relationship like that so i feel like it would be quite forbidden to publicize that relationship um because there are people out there who would scrutinize it you know especially if you are one of the most famous people ever that being a royal person so basically our heroine in here she goes to this club she ends up finding these two guys or these two guys end up finding her and they end up dancing and having a fun night together and then they go have some fun together the three of them at this hotel room i'm pretty sure then it gets revealed that the two guys in this situation one of them's a prince and one of them's the bodyguard and there are kind of some repercussions from that and this is like the first book i believe in a trilogy there's more to this story i haven't read the other books in the series but i believe it's probably forbidden as well i've talked about misadventures of the first daughter recently in a bodyguard romance video and yeah this is very forbidden it's about our heroine who is the daughter to be president of the united states and a romance with one of her bodyguards. They definitely have to sneak around. It's quite forbidden, but the two of them just can't keep their hands off each other, obviously. <laughs> um, there's nothing much else to this. It's very forbidden in the aspect that he is guarding her and that's his job. And he's kind of compromising his job by falling in love with the person he's protecting. Hate to Want You by Leisha Rye, another one I just keep talking about because it's just so stinking good and it falls into so many tropes that I love. So Hate to Want You is a rivaling families romance. Our heroine and hero are from rivaling families and they despise each other. They do not like each other, but they are attracted, very attracted to one another so they have this unspoken agreement that every year on the heroine's birthday no matter where they are in life they will meet up and have a fun night together if you get my drift and so they've been doing this for a couple of years until her most recent birthday she didn't show up and he was so upset and honestly worried for her he's like where is she what is going on and i think he realizes by her not showing up that last time that like oh I think I actually care about this woman, you know? Um, now that I haven't seen her in a bit, but then he ends up seeing her in town. She ended up moving back to their small town. You find out why she didn't end up meeting up with him, but the snowball kind of like rolls from there. They have to stay in this small town together where their families are giant rivals and they have to hide their friendship and then relationship from the other families. This series is also amazing when it comes to diversity. Like it's so fantastic. I love this series so much. Please, please, please go check it out. I have three historical romances to mention. First is The Chasing of Eleanor Vane by Sarah Simone. This is a very short novella on Kindle Unlimited. And I loved this. Like it's kind of insta-lovey, but it was also forbidden and I love forbidden romances. So I'll take the insta-love any day. Our heroine in here is actually betrothed to this guy who's just a creeper and a rake and a gross dude. Like he's like ultimate frat boy, but slobbier. Like he, no. <laughs> So she is not interested in this man whatsoever, but she's betrothed to him. Like there's nothing she can do. She's always been taught her entire life to be prim, proper, and to follow the rules. And so she thinks like she's stuck in the situation until one day at one of their betrothal dinners, she meets this guy's uncle for the first time. And man, is she smitten. And the hero, when he sees her, he is equally as smitten, but it's very forbidden. That is her betrothed 
uncle. And so it gets to a point where the heroine is so fed up with following the rules and following society's dictations and her parents' dictations that she ends up running away. The hero, the uncle in this situation, has to go find her, run out into the cold, wet moors and go find this woman and bring her back to a cabin to have his wicked way with her and to kind of claim her as his. This is such a fun historical romance novella. I feel like you don't get a lot of historical romance novellas that aren't a part of a series, you know? And so this one is a complete standalone that I really recommend. A Reckless Match by Kate Bateman is another rivaling family romance that is quite forbidden. The Montgomery's and Davises have been basically at familial war with each other for years. They're fighting over this plot of land. And so the king in the situation is very upset about these two people or two families rivaling. And so he makes this deal an agreement between the two families where every year on a specific date and a specific time, one representative from each family has to come to this land that they're fighting over, shake hands, and they're kind of like sharing the land. And then if one year, one person from the respective parties does not show up, they forfeit the land forever to the family that did show up. So our heroine and the hero in the situation have been chosen this year to shake hands on this land. And the rest kind of goes from there. It's kind of enemies to lovers at first and great banter. This book is so good with the banter. Um, and then they also have to figure out some mystery aspects together. It's forced them to come together because they're trying to solve this mystery on this land. So I thought this was super, super, super entertaining. The last historical and book that I want to mention for this video is Duchess by Day, Mistress by Night by Stacey Reed. This one is forbidden because they're from two different social classes. And the heroine is like a lady. She's a duchess. And so she is one of the highest, highest people in society. And the hero is not titled whatsoever. And that's a big no-no in the ton in the British society. Our heroine here is a widow and a single mother. And the hero is kind of like a guy who got his wealth and standing in society because of debts that people have owed him. He does favors for people in exchange for kind of like a boon or a, um, pay me back later situation. And so he's rounded up and gotten kind of in the pocket of a lot of these influential people in society. Anyway, he ends up coming across the heroine one day and becomes utterly besotted by her and wants her so badly. He's obsessed with this woman, but again, she's a duchess and he's a man that is not titled. He owned his wealth. He didn't, he was not born into it. But then one day the heroine's son goes missing. She believes kidnapped like she believes her son is kidnapped and she asks the hero to help her she's like i will do anything anything for you to find my son for me and he's like deal this woman is gonna be mine i'm gonna find her son and then she's gonna be mine but she also wants to be his so like it's not like a blackmail bad situation it's a blackmail situation that they're both into <laughs> i loved this one this is one of my favorite stacy reads and i definitely need to read the rest of the series but the forbidden aspect in here was quite interesting because they're kind of trying to hide their relationship once it gets started from other people in society or she is at first because she doesn't really know how to feel about this she is a widow and a single mom on top of that and that adds a little bit of scandal in and of itself and so to add this whole element of this man adds even more and so she's trying to not let society dictate her choices but it's kind of hard if that's what you've been taught your entire life but I did really enjoy this and I hope that y'all do too. But anyways, there you have it. Those are some forbidden romance recommendations for you. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. And please, please, please don't forget to go check out Victoria's video. She's going to have some amazing recommendations for you. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the emoji where the yellow guy, yellow emoji guy goes like this. <laughs> anyways, uh, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see you soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be.